South India has got some of the beautiful jungles and landscapes, unspoiled and immaculate. Words fail to describe the beauty of these landscapes. The first spells of rain totally changes everything. Monsoon paints jungles greener and transforms mountains and valleys into a picturesque paradise. A perfect time of the year to take a break from the hectic city life and unwind in the lap of nature. But the question is, when? The search started for a nature-centric destination. After shortlisting a couple of places, we decided to head to Kuta, a small town in South Burg. Located at a distance of 250 kilometers from Bangalore, Kuta is known for its coffee estates and spices. It is also known for its close proximity to several tourist attractions like Irpu Waterfalls, Tholpetti Wildlife Sanctuary and Nagarhole National Park. Blessed with nature's beauty and tranquility, Kuta is a must visit. There are different routes to get to Kuta, but we decided to take Hunsur Road and drive through the scenic Nagarhole National Park. We started from Bangalore around 3 am. After a couple of tea and snack breaks, we reached the Nagarhole National Park around 7.30 am. Traffic movement through the National Park is restricted in the night. The park remains open only from 6 am to 6 pm. As soon as we entered the jungle, we were welcomed by a herd of gars. This sighting heightened our expectation. As we continued our journey, our eyes started scanning the area like hawks looking for its prey. The jungle was bustling with a large number of spotted deers, peacocks and langurs. Thick curtain of trees on either side of the road, lush greenery everywhere. The silence was loud. The only sounds were those of the chirping birds and the call of the animals. After about 20 minutes of driving, we noticed some movement in the bushes. I took the camera out of the dashboard and when I zoomed in, the second surprise was waiting. A pack of tolls, also known as Indian wild dogs. Red fur and pointed ears give them a fox-like appearance. The dhol is a highly sociable animal. They are known for their persistence and viciousness while hunting. The dhol is believed to be one of the few predators that begins to feed on its prey even before it is dead. There have been incidents of dholes make leopards run up the tree for life. This sighting was definitely special. This kind of made me feel that my trip was already a huge success. continued our journey and reached our homestay around 9 am. As beautiful as the journey was, the destination was even more beautiful. Spice Glade is a homestay located in the middle of a 30-acre coffee plantation. The hosts, Jaswin and Sham, are very warm and friendly. Homestay has two independent cottages alongside the main house and a great outdoor seating area. Cottages are clean, well furnished 
and well maintained. Food was the best part during our stay. Simple, homemade, but delicious and hygienic. There is ample amount of parking space. The plan was just to have a relaxed weekend so we didn't really venture out much except for an early morning walk in the coffee estate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like and subscribe for more videos. Also, make sure to press that bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. Until next time, goodbye.